so I'm trying to figure out how to get this flying machine to go um, and there's also a submarine but I spent a lot of time in the submarine and it was actually kind of traumatizing and there's no real indication of what order you should be doing things in so I think it's fine if I just go for it with the flying machine and I'm going to find out where it goes so maybe oh I'm go in here maybe yes okay right ah which noise is more is it even is it attached to anything Okay. It doesn't seem to be attached to anything. So I just keep trying. I don't, I think I'm missing something here. Or maybe like the levels in the has that changed? Doesn't look like it. I want to fly it. Nope, that was an accident. Let me out. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to ratchet this. Like, usually it's clockwise. Oh, it's a horrible noise. Okay. That actually did do something. But, okay, so now the energy's back down to the, at the bottom. So I don't want that. Okay. So I want it almost to the top, but not in the red, I guess? Yeah, okay. Oh no, no, I accidentally went too far. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, cogs, just wait. Alright. Okay. A little bit more, a little bit more. Maybe two, two more. Okay, that's really close. Well, I mean, it's in the blue, but I want it to be like perfectly ready. See, that's nice. Or should it be red? Okay, okay, okay. Everyone calm down. It's gonna be. I'm excited about this. That, I guess. Wow. Wow, that's so cool. It's beautiful. It's the art's so beautiful. Okay, where am I? They mentioned a temple earlier. So I guess this is the temple. Can I pick up rocks here? What was that that I picked up? More shells. Can I consolidate my shells? Okay. That, these things. This. Yeah, old beach. They look a bit squashed. I guess like orbs, eggs, birds, oh, oh, it's all like thematic, right? Although the bat to me kind of changes that a bit. It's, it's like there's mechanical birds, there's a mechanical bird man, you use a cooker clock with a bird in it. Um, there's like a theme of wind and wind chimes and flight and stuff. And then the flying machine is a bat. I mean, it's fine. I mean, sure, but I guess maybe birds are getting boring. It's a very nice design, anyway. Okay, here we go. We're going somewhere. This is nice. This is soothing. This feels a bit like Greek, maybe. Oh, wow. 
wow, this is really nice. Someone puts, put a lot of effort into this. I wonder what that means. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not easily surprised. I want to go in there, but I want to just have a quick look around first. What's that? What is that thing? Wow, okay. Um, okay. Alright, go on then. Alright, let's have a... Okay. Okay. Insert coin to return your baby to you. Maybe. Oh. Okay. So okay, so now that's a straight line. No? Yeah, that's right. So well, Whoops. No, no, I didn't mean to do that. No, don't close. What do you think? What do you think I should do? Um. Okay. Yeah. Um. And now I think something has to go in there. Yeah. It's like a dog whistle. That's why I think this is to do with the Birdman, but like I played it in front of him before and it didn't do anything. So. Yeah, I think I've got to find something like to put in that little hole. But it's like a bit annoying because like when I go away, it's all going to reset, right? What's that thing trying to do? Okay, alright, fine, fine, I'll come back. What's, what's that? Did you hear that? Okay, alright, okay. Look at these cool light designs. It's like seashells or like a flower pot or something. Very flower themed, plant themed. Okay, that's nice. Oh, I did not expect to be able to walk over there. What's this? Okay, what is it? What is it? Tell me. Um, what if I used it on this one? If I play it, then it will open. Yeah, it's, so it looks like garlic. It's like the temple of garlic. I feel like this is a long shot. Yeah, no, that's just annoying. Probably this thing might come into... come into its use. I could crowbar it. I haven't had a chance to use the crowbar yet. Crowbar it open. Crowbar open the garlic temple. Alright, alright, fine, fine. Okay, let's see. Alright, we'll come back to that. Let's have a look. It's over here. This place is full of crazy stuff. It's way better than submarine land. It's like a, a, a an orrery. That's that thing. Oh, you dropped your thing, Fen. There you go. Okay. All right. Let's see garlic from the other side. If 
fascinating. Uh, okay, fine, fine. But I can't interact with anything here, really? What about... Alright, okay. Elevator it is. I think it's elevator time. Yeah. I'm actually kind of apprehensive about this. Oh my god, I'm such a dingle. Of course it's the same elevator that I used to get there. It literally looks identical. Okay, well, I respect myself less now. Alright. But, okay, so maybe this is like, there isn't actually anything I can really do here. But at least now I know the types of puzzles that are here so I can look out for things that will help me solve them. This does seem like kind of a more of a closer to the end of the game place. Hang on a second. What the fuck? Is that a person? <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm just here in the garlic temple to pay my respects. To... I <gasps> do not know you. None but the trusted me ascend. Or descend. Okay. I am Lyril, guardian and sacred ward of the temple. The garlic temple. You are a stranger here. I am, it's true. Who, who are you? Are you a priest? Are yes, you let's go with that. Friend. Did you bring me shells? Uh, yes I did actually. Thank you for asking that very specific question. Here you go. Thank, thank you, stranger. You're welcome. Do you want some more? Thank, thank you, stranger. The priests used to bring me presents like these. Sometimes I... Make it's Greta Thunberg. Pass the time. Yeah, These it's Greta Thunberg from the future. Will if, be um, perfect. If things don't go well for it, I guess. She's only got one limb, which is really sad for her. But I guess like she has a chair that she can zoom around the temple in, kind of. It seems like, where did the priests go? What happened to them? Um, I shouldn't press her thing, like, I shouldn't mess with this. I am alone here. Oh. It has been a long, long time since anyone has come. Tell me, I was thinking that. Have you yeah, seen maybe, the maybe a guy who had like a um, priests, like a priestess, fembot kind of thing. Do you want this? I. That's interesting. What is it for? You tell me. Actually, that would be good if you would tell me. Do you want a lighter? Here you go. That's in. I don't have anything else in it. Maybe these jewels. You got this? That's it. No, only shells. She only cares about shells. Wait! Oh, sorry. It's the, you're... There is mo more I could tell. Yeah, go on. Tell me then. Tell me. Let, let me... Let me tell you about the priests. And perhaps you can watch for them on your journey okay, they I'll set out in the ironclad ship they should have returned by now yeah seems like that 
Lucky you probably don't need food though. Uh, anything else? In six separate pieces, a weapon they built. Six and pieces, huh? Five of those pieces they hid. The priests and the six set out in the iron clad ship, collecting the pieces to assemble a whole this 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 scattered device is the last chance we have but what of the priests what are we sad for us i know no more there is no more to tell no more shells. Oh man. Ah, this is a really sad situation. She said she likes pebbles. Should I give her some rocks? I don't want to throw. I really don't want to actually like throw a rock at her because that's usually what happens. That's no, she doesn't want that. Okay. Anything else? Wise to the old ways, the priests burnt night candles, uncovering secrets. Long, long lost. Throw a rock at her. Quiet as mice. They devised a device. Some, something to stop it. For once and for all. I'm just going to let the dog go out. Alright, fine, Fen. Fine. I'll let you out. Here you go. Okay, here I am. So. Wise. To the old ways, the priests burnt night candles. Okay, sorry, that's the same thing you said before. It is my duty to protect. Oh, sorry. Protect the I didn't like that I touched the, against the lever. Intruders. I'm sorry. You cannot. Enter the inner chambers. Okay, that's fine. I I don't really mind that about that. That room is private. Sorry, I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stop touching the lever and I'm gonna stop trying to go in your room. What's this thing though? Oh, what's this? Go on. Don't touch the machines. Oh my god, it is Greta Thunberg. Girl, you just gotta. Don't worry about it. Stop! Those controls operate the electromagnet. Please don't touch them. Bitch, I know. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. What if I do this? Why huh. do you do that when I already asked you not to? I do what I want. Oh no, she's. Oh no. I made it. I upset her. Oh well, at least she's gone now, so I can do this without being interrupted constantly. Isn't it great? I love it. I think it's so good. I remember, like, I think when I was a kid, I got up to... I remember I... I, I, I remember getting up to, I think, this chick in the temple. But I don't think I got that much further, and I have no idea what else happens in the game. I have no idea what happens at the end. Um, and I th I'm not sure how much there is. It might be... Because it is meant to be like a mist clone, right? So it could be fucking huge. Alright, this is... that's boring. Oh, maybe I should attach something to it that's metal. Um, like a... crowbar. <laughs> right. I reckon you, you gotta fix up something with it, because it's an electromagnet, right? 
so... Should I try and go into her room? I think I have to. Let me in, Greta! Pressing the lever, you... Um, okay. Well, that's fascinating. That's, that's so true, I didn't think of that. It is a code thing to all. I can think she'll actually come out. Are you... Okay. Hi. Hi. old ways, the priests burnt night candles. She's back. Uncovering secrets long, long lost in the fall. I know, you said that before. Quiet. Um, what if I, she's an android, so what if I play the fan flute to her? You like this noise? What do you think about that? Huh? What do you think about this? No, it doesn't like that. Okay. Is this lady like... She's on this, like, this run, run, runner thing, rail, so she can get all the way around... I reckon, so maybe I can, I don't, it just feels a bit rude, but I can, I'm trying to get her to move out of here. I mean, she shouldn't, I don't know if she's like an augmented person or an actual robot. Can't go any further, so go this way, I guess. Don't touch the machines. Uh, I'm going to though, just hang on one second. I just want to see if I can magnet her Stop. to it. Those controls operate the electromagnet. I know that. Please I know. Don't. I, know. I know that. No. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. All right. I'll see you later. I'll come back. I'll bring shells. I'll come back and talk to you another time. So, anyway, goodbye, Greta. Okay. Let's go. I just, I've got a feeling there's, there's not a huge amount I can do here. But I should probably try all of the items in the slot. Because you this thing. Because you never know. Oh, if I hit on this enough, then she'll come out and she'll help me. Right? Better come here. her over the edge just like the only person that she's seen in like a hundred years is like this asshole who just like messes with her relentlessly tries to attach a magnet to her hang on one second the dog's barking let me in Okay. You didn't hear me say be quiet. That is exactly what I did say to her. You, you know me too well. Ben, be quiet. What do I have that could... This little slot thingy, I think is important. And that maybe... What could go in there? I'm gonna try this. I guess I might as well try that out. I think I fly. I can put a letter in it. Um. Okay. No, I want to do this first. So like this, like that, like this, this, like that. I had to bring all of the chimes at once. Okay, what is this? 
A CD. It gave me a CD. This was 9.96 after all. Wow, awesome. Can I get another one? Alright, I think I think this is done now. This is a very um, convoluted um, CD dispensing machine, but I like it. I think it's good. Okay, goodbye thing. I don't know why. Why does it need eyes? Maybe it's like an anti-theft measure. Like you're less likely to. Well, I don't know. It's hard to steal from anyway. It's pretty difficult to get whatever is inside it out of it. Garlic. with the crack and I tried the crowbar and it doesn't didn't do anything AOL on my telephone it better be it better be it, it's just her it's her MSN messenger chat logs let me in um try crowbar I don't think umbrellas aren't selling this umbrella is useful I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the other place I think this is I think I need more stuff before I come back here again. So, that's what I'm gonna do. No, I don't. What was in there again? Oh, yeah, maybe I guess I should see if the CD goes here somewhere. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it's huge! It's like a record. I did not expect that to work, but okay, cool. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay. Here we go. I am Lyra, guardian and sacred ward of the Temple of Ancient Machines. I came here when I was four years old. There was an accident. The priests put me in the machine to save my life. It she's is a, my heart, my breath, and my blood. I have been trained in the art of story, the remembrance of things past. Listen and learn our history. A long time ago, a powerful people ruled this world. They were masters of machines. There was nothing they could not build in their factories. No obstacle nature put in their path could defeat them. That us. But their blind desire for progress became their doom. The Dr. Freud, you're right. Polluted. She's totally Greta from the future. The animals died, and the ocean stank. The sky became yellow. The sun shone through a sickly haze. Finally, the land itself died. All but the strongest and most isolated perished. Disease and famine consumed them. Those who remained lived only to survive. And the old ways were lost. Many died during this dark age. But a new philosophy yeah. was born. Holy men real. gathered together and built this temple. These priests, realizing the air of past ways, sought to integrate the ways of nature in the resurrection to foster rather than exploit. This acorn of thought oh. took root and grew a philosophy of life which spread its branches over every aspect of the new time. That's a nice this temple metaphor. is a storehouse for what little remains of the old technology. A sacred place in which to carefully study the remnants of dead age. It is hoped that with wisdom and caution, some of the ancient ways might be incorporated into the technology of today. The priests scoured the land and brought the old machines here. Generations pass with guidance from the temple the people developed natural sources of energy. Slowly the land recovered, and the people regained their <coughs> sense of purpose. Life improved, balanced in a carefully maintained harmony with nature. I hope that happens. I hope that happens. That was really wholesome. That was nice. Okay, cool. I'm hesitant. I, if I play it again, I can skip it anyway, so we'll see if it's anything different. So maybe it has more episodes. 
I am Lyril. No. Lyril, okay. Lyril, I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember her name. Lyril. Like Laurel, but not. Yeah, okay, cool. Come, come out. Yes! Yes! I just watched your video, it was great, lady. L uh, L uh, Lyril. That was really nice. I like your. Oh, wise. To the old ways, the priests. She's not in a good way, she? Night candles. Uncovering secrets long. long lost. In the fall. Quiet as mice. They devised. a device. Some, something to stop it. For once and for all. That's my dog barking at innocent bystanders. I I use those sorry. those controls to move about. I know. I'm sorry. Please I'm sorry. That was really rude. Hinder m m me I'm so sorry. You are you are totally. Them. That was actually really rude. That was really rude. But I'm gonna try and touch this one. Okay. Wise to the old. I know that. Go away. <laughs> Don't touch that. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad that you can't hear the barking. I did like I put a sound uh, noise suppressor on it, but I also like it's got a little. These headphones have a little switch in the on the side, and I can mute the microphone, so I have to tell it to be quiet. It's like I don't want to stop her from going out onto the deck and doing her thing. Unless she likes to preside over the world. But she's a walker. Should I press it again? I really want to press it again. I'm gonna do it. Leave me alone! Sorry. Don't oh, sorry. touch my controls! I know, it's just really Oh, I pissed her off. I'm sorry, Lyril. I was It's just really hard not to press it. Come back. Come on, come back. No. Lyril. Lyril, there you are. Go away. Oh, come on. I do not trust you. Why not? I gave you heaps of seashells. I hope I haven't, like, permanently damaged my reputation with her or something. I totally might have. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna touch her controls anymore. I'm busy now. I will talk to you later. Okay, well that's something. I feel bad. If you won't listen, I am not going to okay. help help you. Okay. Go away. Whoa. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. That was a really bad first date. Okay, alright. Well, let's go up here. Anything going on? Spooky music. I feel like the Birdman could quite easily appear there. Oh. I really gave her the shits. I have to go find more seashells now. I have no idea where. I could, maybe the submarine will help me get more seashells. Okay, I'm gonna go back. these like insanely heavy metal objects fly. 
but maybe the atmosphere is, um, you know, or something in this parallel universe. This is actually Earth in the future. What's this crane thing? What does that do? What this? No. No, there's nothing that doesn't let me have anything from here. Okay, alright, alright, let's go. Let's go, fine. Every, everyone keep an eye out for seashells. I really need to repair my relationship with Lyril. <clears throat> okay. So this... This thing... If you click... Yeah, ladder. It operates the ladder. So... But I'm really curious about what... Attack... And patrol. He attack, he patrol. And I'm really curious about what... It's actually controlling. What did I just click, actually? Patrol. I'm gonna go for that for now. Okay, let me turn around, please. Can I? Let me... Oh, it's because it activated the ladder. Alright, happy now? Is everything in its rightful place? Can I leave? Thank you. Okay. Can't pick up the wire. This is the sad scientist man's bed. I locked this window because the bird man would come through and wanted to kill me for sure. For sure wanted to kill me. Like he hates me. I know. I know he does. And this is the old mate and I accidentally knocked his head off. Uh, but it was bound to happen. You can't light this candle. I tried. This bird man's schematics. I think I've got everything from this table and stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, so, there's actually quite a lot of suspense because you know the Birdman's out there and you know that he wants to kill you. And, yeah. Let's see if he's in his room. Oh, I locked him out of his room. Yep, I remember. No wonder he's so annoyed. No wonder he came and knocked the head off the, off the bird. I didn't realise there was a door, I mean, a doorway that went down to the submarine for a ridiculous amount of time. Here, this passageway. It's like, oh yeah, obviously there's this passageway there. Um, kind of, this is quite traumatising last time. <laughs> okay. So I think I have to do something with this crane. What if I have this new? I've got... I didn't see that before. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Wait. No, too far. Chit. No. Okay, listen. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. That looks like a straight line. Down. Go down. Down. Or up. Or something. What about now? Oops. Yes! And now up. Or... Yeah. <clears throat> Suck it, crane. What's that thing? What is it? What does it do? What did it do? No seashells. No, okay. Okay. The bicycle stand has been raised. Which is good, because now I can finally park my bicycle and trade it in for this death trap submarine. Okay. 
No, this is a bit of... Okay. A lot of stuff going on down here. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of places to go. I don't know what this is. I got coordinates earlier. 20 north. 118 west. Uh, which it looks to me like that's what this is. So, coordinates, right? So, but it won't let me press it. Do we stop with it? It doesn't like me. I don't know what. I don't know what, I don't know what that is. It's, it's like an organ, like an organ of some kind. Of, uh, maybe like a coolant pipe. Coming. Um. Oh shit. Oh, here we go. All right, so. 2067 North. Yeah, this is more specific than the coordinates I have before. 20.67 N 118.96 West. Yeah, okay, cool, thank you. Here's some paper, what else is there? Yeah, show us, show us what's in here. Nothing, okay. Is that the same thing? Yeah, how about that? No, no. Please. Let me in. Okay. So it's a stupid ball. Okay. Let's see what else there is going on. Oh, gosh. This... I don't know. I don't really understand what exactly what is happening here. So... I assume that the blue line on... Yeah, and then it's like, too far, go back. I assume that the blue line is where you want the level on these first two um, cylinders or whatever to be. And then you want these ones to fill up the whole way. And then it like shows you on this what area is being affected. So like, this is doing something to the side. And then if you turn it, the levels go up. And I don't... Okay. It's down, and then this down, and then I go this one first. And now all of these, those things are the same. And... Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. And this. Yes! Fuck you, Biles. Yes! Fuck, fuck you. Mm. Fuck you, submarine. Okay. It's awesome. This is good. I spent like... I don't want to talk about it, okay? I'm going to want to talk about how long I spent here before. It's a beautiful cutscene, right? Yeah, no, this game is beautiful. It's really beautiful. The um, art director is John Bach, lead designer. And I think he did a great job, really great job. And the artist, of course, it's just it was, yeah, stunning. Okay, so I guess I go down, down here. Down the well, what did that do though? So maybe I can do the coordinates now. Beep. Boop. No. Fine. This looks like where you should be. I want to go forward, so let's go. Let's do it. Let's let's go. Um, let's go. Let's go down. Down the hatch. Okay, so maybe this is where you steer things, or is this like a separate vehicle? I know I said this before, but like Iron Lung, if you haven't played it, play it. It's made by one dude, and it's really. Right. Okay, so I've closed that. Maybe like this is a, like a little separate pod do do the mingle. Um This futuristic advanced society sucked at UI UX. Yeah, I know. I said it. 
Um, ah! <laughs> okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. What's that? Um, what is, what am I looking at? It looks like a wall. Do I have to, like, remove this wall before I can take the submarine somewhere? There's some puzzles in this game where I just don't even know. It honestly seems like random text that you figure it out. I mean, it's not at the same level as um, Star Trek Titanic, so I feel like that's actually important to say. It's actually playable, and I think you can you can eventually get through without it being too painful or obscure. Like Star Trek Titanic, I don't even know. Oh no, I killed it. I don't even know how I got. Through. I did it as a kid playing that game. But I love that game. Just, uh, can I turn this? Yeah, nonsense is acceptable. Oh, I love Douglas Adams. And also, like, he's... Um, there's, like... He appears at the beginning of the game in Star Trek Titanic and he's, like, introduces you to the game. It's really beautiful. I think... What was the bike... Stand, you know? That, I think I didn't do something that I was meant to do that would make me able to go forwards. And I can't poke anything with this arm. What's this scene? Alright, that's it. That's it. That's it. Let me out. This loud metal death box. Please let me out. <laughs> I do. I think that the bike stand has something to do with the bars that are blocking the entrance. I, I do. That's exactly what I think. And... So to escape. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on a second. This wasn't... Um, this wasn't flashing before. So let's see if we can put the coordinates in. Uh, I assume... Yeah. No. I still can't press the buttons. Why won't you let me? I heard the whip bird. Oh, Papa Fix, thank you for following. Thank you. Welcome to this stingy and hell. Um... Okay, so I can't do that. <gasps> okay. Everyone calm down. Okay, okay. Um, 20, so we want 20.67. So, uh, yeah, okay. Um, yes, 67. This guy. One one eight nine six. Enter. Okay, so that's where we want to go. Is that it? Is that is this, this functions as this is like the GPS basically? Okay, so maybe maybe. Would this change like the alignment of the submarine, like how it's situated, how where it's facing? Um. <laughs> Please. This looks like a steering wheel, but it doesn't. everything. I don't know what these things do. I'm just what, like, did it? Okay. Okay. 
so... Okay. You mean, like, it changed because of the, because of the map, the GPS thing? Not because of these keys that I'm recklessly... And, and maybe I can't move forward until I... I do. I think that's what I think it is the target. I think that's where I meant to go. Yeah, the GPS. Okay. I should. I feel like this is all of the other things, like the the bat um, plane flying machine, Da Vinci, Da Vinci style thing. That was like, oh, that was actually like you weren't meant to take it all the way to red. You were meant to be just before. So maybe I shouldn't have it red. Is that bad logic? Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, that closes the door, so I can't... Now can I steer if I close the door? Red is bad. I think red's bad. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Makes you feel better. Okay. Put the coordinates in. I think I should go back up to the surface. I have to go back up. So how did I, how did I do that? Um... with this fish pot so I, this is like the bladder control <laughs> bladder control but you know what I mean it kind of is no? okay so this is just like this now this is our life now Oh, it changes, so it tells us what those coordinates are. Yeah, cool. What if I do this? Does that mean that's where we are now? Hello. Yes, hello. What if I... If I turn the submarine off, it won't return to the surface. That would be too easy, right? That would be... That would be silly. That would be silly if that's what happened. Yeah, no, nothing's working now. Confirmed. Confirmed nothing. Nothing going on there. And red is bad. But does it matter like which order these are in? Yeah, like I just sh shorted it out. Like it didn't like that. So if I... And then I have to change it so it's not on red. Ow, Finn! <laughs> what are you doing? be the death of me. This is actually going to be the death of me. I don't know what one of these does. So, yeah, one of them opens the door and one of them does something. Is it that I've, could I have, like, balanced the power in a weird way? Like, not the right way? If I tried all combinations. Oh, no, was that just me overloading it and it's dying? Oh, God. Okay, fine. What about that? Is that a door that we've... Is that a door that we haven't actually had access to? Because we don't know what the other lever at the front of the ship does, so maybe... 
Maybe they don't lock the door. Maybe. Uh, yes. Okay. What is that? What's that? Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. We I'm so excited. Okay, what's going on? We got a little lightning lightning screen. I've got a, some vials of s steamy steamy valve thingies. What have we got? What's going on? What can I do? What can I touch? Let me touch something. Maybe I gotta... Maybe this is where I use this. Oh, that is eerily silent now. No, I don't think this is got anything to do with it. But maybe this weird pan flute. Oh no, the sound. Has the sound disappeared? No, because I can hear the menu. Can you get... Alright, well, that's happened now. No, I'm going to save it as a new one, actually. Um... Sputnik death trap submersible submersible is that right I hope so okay and this is weird you say you do that and then you go oh actually never mind okay we now have no sound it's just gone Does that mean all of these things must be doing stuff around the ship as well? And if red's bad, then maybe I should. I don't know what that did. Anyway, let's let's have a let's have a gaze. Let's have a gaze. What's doing? Yeah. Okay. So one of those is the okay. So one of those keys is the GPS system. And you know what? Which one is it? Let's find out. There we go. Okay. So the top. Top key. Weird engine. Weird engine. Alright. Which means that we, the only thing we don't know what it does is the bottom, the bottom key. Is it not, maybe like... No. Let's have a look. Here first. Let me change anything here. So now that's not flashing red, and it was flashing red before, right? Okay, so that changes that. Okay, so then I guess I'll pull the lever again. It's the only thing to do, right? What? I guess. I guess. I don't know. <gasps> that's new. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what is what is that? What's happening? Why is it doing that? What does it mean? <laughs> ah, okay. Everyone calm down. I'm sure this is we're close. Any unbearable hours later. Ah. So maybe now we're, are we going up? Me to seek that solution. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's get the fuck out of Dodge. This place sucks. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye Sputnik Death Trap. Fuck you. Okay, no. We need to find the little ball that goes on the end of the stupid stick, obviously. Uh, yes, okay. Guys. Oh. Thank you, Dr. Freud. 
<laughs> no. Please backseat drive. <laughs> this, I need all the help I can get here. I've been, honestly, the time spent with this submarine. Okay, so where sh should I put this? drop it in front of myself. I think the water seems like the only spot. You're probably right. You're probably right. This thing. Yeah, you're right. It does oops, I went the other way. It does seem like to be that would be that would be the logical place, right? Okay, so it's not like a magnet, so now can I pull this up? Oh no, it's a weight. Okay, cool. Okay. Pay attention. Stop. Alright, we're on to something. Thank you, Dr. Floyd, for releasing me from this prison. Stop. Down. Holy shit. The gate is open. The gate is open. I don't know what that was for then. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go. Oh no, we need the ball. Ah, uh, not gonna catch me. Do we need the ball? I try and find a ball. Should we just go? Should we just see the changes? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Gotta see. Gotta check it out. Oh, is it different now? Oh, but I haven't sunk. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I haven't sunk the ship. Okay, focus, mummy. Focus. Drinking more wine will probably definitely help me with that. Maybe it doesn't matter because I'm missing this, right? You know what? I wonder if I saw like a little a red ball in because at the beginning of the game I jumped straight into the portal to save the baby in the hot pursuit of the loincloth demon. It's a long story, and I didn't have time to pick up all the stuff in the house, so. I missed a lot of objects and that's probably fucking what I'm missing. It's like something from a stupid house. So oops. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that off and go back up and then leave. And try and find how to because I know that there has to be a way to get back to your dimension. Because there's heaps of shit I didn't pick up. Like probably maybe half or more of the stuff in the house that needed to be picked up, I did not collect. Sorry, I wasn't looking directly at the ladder. So, now I am. And can I please go up? Thank you. How do you throw rocks at the bear man? That's an excellent question. <laughs> I locked him out of his own room, which was, which was quite rude. And I think that's why he's so upset at the moment. You... Take get these rocks and the bird man's in front of you and you just go meh and then it goes donk and he goes ah. It's actually very satisfying and I'm quite sad that he's not here for us to do that. So let me turn may I, may I please turn around. Okay. Yes, thank you. Keep an eye out for like a red ball, you know? I've done that already. Can we fix the bird that he murdered? It wasn't very nice that he did that. Can we touch it? Maybe we didn't interact with this enough. Like maybe we didn't pay enough attention to these guys. These little dudes here. 
And this, what? Maybe I can put this light bulb there. I don't know. You don't, we don't know. Who knows? Could this be... Because you have to look up to get the ladder to come down, right? So maybe this does something here. Nope, not that. Okay. Hey, you little dude. Why don't you do something? Do something. They're broken. Can I fix them? I wonder if I can throw rocks at them whilst they're not moving. <laughs> no, that would just be cool. That would be a very bad... Like, only a horrible person would do that. That would be a terrible thing to do. Rocks. Rocks are the... Rocks are the most important item in this whole game. Guaranteed. What if I complete finish the job and just kill them all? No, I don't really want to anyway. I kind of like them. Uh, okay, so... Am I missing like somewhere I can... Sometimes, honestly, sometimes there's like a scene that you just... have missed somehow. And you just don't realise you can go there. He knocked the head off it, and I don't, I don't think he took the head away, he just left. I don't want to go down, I want to... Wait a second, what the fuck? Do those birds just leave? Am I tripping balls right now? What the fuck? Um, is it because I said patrol and then I looked, you have to, it doesn't have, maybe they don't have an animation for them to like fly out the window, so like, yeah, maybe I said patrol and now they've patrolled, right? Oh, what the, now they're back, what is happening? What's going on? No, go back. Okay, let's try it again. So if I go, if I go patrol and now I turn away from them. And now I go- yeah! Wrinkle brain. Okay. So, but there has to be- oops. There has to be a reason that you get them to leave, like, if there's only something you're supposed to do here. Now they're gone. They do seem important. They're, they're doing something important. And also, the birdman knocked the head off this one. And I think it's important that we fix it. So, yeah. Rocks are really important. And it's like that's why this civilization collapsed, is because they didn't appreciate rocks enough. Which is actually kind of, you know, true. Okay, what if we go to the Birdman's... No, excuse me, turn around. What if we go to the Birdman's workshop and see... Um... See if there's some stuff there that can help us. Yeah, I think that's a good point. I think it's time to go back to the temple. Greta might not hate us anymore. I haven't found any more seashells, but I don't know if there's any more seashells to find. There we go. Uh, all the papers are from the house. I could, I, yeah. So I picked all these up from the house, and I also I'm pretty sure there's a letter open in the house that I didn't pick up, so I can't open this stupid letter, which is from an attorney at law, or to an attorney at law, from Jeremiah Crick, the crazy scientist. May 11. I actually 3 haven't read PM. these. Today I opened the gate and was about to begin modifications when a figure suddenly appeared on the other side. It was bipedal and roughly oh, shaped and sized really like a man, though impossibly thin with long yeah. limbs. I was startled and prepared to shut down the device, but the creature made no move toward me, just peered curiously, first at the portal and then at myself. Its eyes were small and intelligent, almost mischievous, but there was no malice in them. 
We stared at each other for as long as a minute. Then it turned and loped out of my view. This visitation confirms a growing suspicion that I have discovered some kind of parallel universe, for the creature is of a species not to be found upon this Earth. Yeah, I mean, May so not... he says it doesn't look like, like it has malice. When the energy levels thing, approached instability, I horrifying. coughed once to it's get the creature's like, attention and everything pointed about it. to the portal. Apparently understanding my meaning, he took one last look around the laboratory, then yeah, went to the, the portal me. and stepped through. He's I really just had time scary. to see him safely on the other side before the power supply collapsed and the lights went out. Yeah. So... Look, look, it's just like... Ha ah, ha ah, ah. I'm gonna come and steal all your babies and take them away into the world but you're right maybe I haven't me no, that's literally what it looks at yeah so I found this in a this is where I got the coordinates for the submarine someone was in a shipwreck and then they had these coordinates 20 degrees north 118 degrees west and then we found even more specific location uh, 20.67 so that seemed like that was a good thing April 12th 8 a.m. Oh, I haven't read in this. In unpacking a recent shipment of books from the university, I came across an arcane work entitled The Godel Universe. Browsing through it idly, I was surprised to discover a theory about the space-time continuum that today's theoretical physicists have either forgotten or ignored. Godel's theory like is based on a group of motions of Bianchi type 8, yeah, in which the invariant varieties for the motions yeah. are three-dimensional hypersurfaces containing null and time-like lines, i.e. the orthogonals to these hypersurfaces are space-like. However, the Gödel universe admits a four-parameter group in which the Bianchi type 8 is an invariant what are those, subgroup. What are these terms? This is interesting to me. What's, so, what's an orthogonal? I'm just going to write it down. So, ortho, I know how to, I think I know how to spell it. Orthogonal. And then some other stuff that he said was like... Gödel's theory. I think I know, I know Gödel's theory, I, I think, but like very rudimentary understanding. Rodell's theory is like, um, it's like set theory, but for a multiverse idea. So it's like, um, other universes exist, um, within like a set of sets, if you know what I mean. That's, I mean, that's my understanding of it, which is incredibly basic. So, most th what what's Bianchi type five six seven eight? What's Bianchi type eight? What what this? What this thing? I want to know what what this is. Bianchi eight. Okay, I'm gonna I want to kind of want to look that up and know what what that is. So three dimensional hypersurfaces. It kind of sounds like a hypercube or whatever, containing null and time like lines, i.e. the orthogonal to these hypersurfaces are space-like. So it's like like an intersection of dimensions? I don't know. The Godel universe uh, admits a four-parameter group, I don't know what that means, in which the Bianchi type 8 is an invariant subgroup. So yeah, okay, so that's like the set thing with Godel's theory. Well. Thus, revealing a universe both homogeneous and stationary. This stationary characteristic makes the model unsuitable for our representation yeah, of yeah. the universe Those as we time. know it. Godel's hypothesis yeah, totally. ends there, but I think it may apply to my own research on distortions in space. If our universe may be compared to a single sheet of paper, then with yeah, the proper chest, bending huh? of that sheet, any two points in space, no matter what, the linear what distance is. between them may be brought into proximity, enabling instantaneous travel over distances of many light years. My theory that electricity focused through a Fresnel lens would Fresnel. create just such a proximity point is supported by Godel's model. I will incorporate it into future calculations. So, there's a movie where 
someone does that thing where they like hold the paper and then they like stick the stick the pen through it and then they're like no, it's a wormhole and stuff. April 29, 11 p.m. I have modified the algorithm to include Godel's theory and focus the Fresnel lens accordingly. The storm is supposed to move in sometime after midnight. I will wait up for it, though these late nights are taking their toll. Hopefully this storm will be intense and the lightning rod will attract the bolt. If the power modulation tube can withstand the initial blast of energy, it should totally regulate the horizon. flow through yeah. the Fresnel yeah. lens, which in turn heat. will focus totally, it directly yeah. into my device. Maybe this time I will get some conclusive results. Is it Sam Neil who does the paper foldy thing? I hope so. I hope it's Sam Neil. Okay, well, this is good because I, I hadn't read that. And, like, I don't know, but, like, maybe the game knows if you. He doesn't need eyes. Yeah. He doesn't need eyes where he's going. Doesn't need him. No, don't need that. Unlike this guy. This guy's got eyes. Doesn't. Well, I do. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna put these papers in here. And. Oh, I wish I picked up that letter opener. Oh my god! But give me a fight. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about what I did. It was wrong. Go away. No, please, listen. I do not trust you. Oh, I shouldn't have fucked with her. No, lady, seriously, like, um, maybe if I give her the shipwreck letter, right? Because, like, Dr. Boyd, you were saying that that's something that she talked about, so... This means they are <gasps> dead. They will never return. Oh. I am alone here with no one to help me. That's fucking sad. Really great job, Pippin. You think you've run the umbrella? So you don't lose Greta again. Yeah, oh, good idea. Yeah, I should save the game. Save game. Uh... Greta, please. It might rain in there. <laughs> Here you go. You love the outdoors, right? Here's an umbrella. You can actually open it. It's, inter it's an interactive umbrella. That's interesting. <laughs> what is it for? It's for flying around. So she. What? I wonder if we can give out other papers. Do we try and give her, give her that, or do we just play it in front of her? No. That's. No, it's just like that. What about this? No. No, can't, can't do that. Can't do that either. So wait, what did she say with this one? She said, I'm alone now forever. That's my life. This means they are dead. They will never return. I am alone here with no one to help me. No pretty stones for Lyrell. Nothing but tears. Nothing but tears. That's fucking grim, girl. Alright, well, pretty, these are pretty stones. What, do you want this? That's interesting. Alright. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try all these. That's a nice thing. I can just try and give oh, No, I tried to give her that before. What if I show her that? And what if I show her. I don't know. I don't think that that's something she'd want, but why not try? Thank you. Oh my god! You are beautiful. Oh, you're so welcome. Really? You are not so bad. Thank god. Okay, we're good now, right? Okay, okay. You don't want this. That's it. No. What do, do you want? A clock? That's Do you want this? Do you want to, tell me what this that's is. That's No. Okay, so, okay. That's cool. Rocks don't work, she doesn't want that. 
so now we're given her three things now. We've given her two sets of seashells. One of them I picked up in our dimension. One of them I picked up in this dimension. And then the weird bric-a-brac stuff from the drawer. Yeah, it can be totally bought by shiny things. She loves shiny things. So... But she doesn't like those shiny things for some reason. Okay, so that's good. That's good. So this is progress, right? Okay. We've made progress. Praise be to Evan. Tell me more. Wise to the old ways, the priests burnt night candles, uncovering oh, secrets that, said that before. long. So, I don't know. Like, can we help fix her? She's clearly broken. I don't know. Do you want a compass? That's just that's just something for me to use, isn't it? It's part of the device. Oh. They what? called it a particle ionizing vacuum cannon. If you can assemble it, I think you can defeat him. Okay. So it's part of the, what did she say? Like the particle ionizing cannon. I knew this was a part of a piece of equipment that was important. Oh, is there anything else that we haven't shown her? She doesn't want to talk about the pan flutes. What about the key? Like, what haven't we shown? We tried the crowbar. <laughs> Incredibly. Um, no, that doesn't... That's just... I guess I'll just leave that there. Like, why not? Tell me about this. That's interesting. What is it for? Yeah, totally. Maybe it's part of a weapon. Yeah, maybe it's part of a weapon. Yeah, like... It's not like umbrella. It doesn't like clock. I don't think. That's in... No. Okay. The sun and wind, the sea and rain, provide for all our needs. We plant and reap. We teach and learn. We ch cherish that which feeds we cherish that which feeds what does this stuff mean okay yeah she likes she likes rain she doesn't want this though does she she doesn't want it that's in no okay so I'm surprised she doesn't want that she doesn't like that have I tried to give her the lighter I know this is weird that no, of course not. Do you have any, but, but the else? wise and holy gathered here, machines of metal cast. They study that which came before to learn to learn from errors past. Attacker, no, I'm not gonna go through all that again. What else? The wise to the old ways. Priest, wise. No, she's back to the wise thing. Her guard is down. I don't know, but she's she got no legs. Can't do that. Ah, uh, what do I do now that she's in this room? Maybe I could go into one of the other rooms and fuck with shit, and she wouldn't know. Oh, I can't leave. Do I have to close the this? Okay. That room. Sorry, sorry, is sorry, sorry, sorry. Private. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just it was an accident. She doesn't like it. Okay. Okay. What if I go to one of the other places where she at? See if she come now. Right up. Come here and tell me. All right. Yeah. Come to the other place. I don't know what's going on in this room. Why don't you... No, I do. I do know what's going on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Girl, tell me what... Tell me what up here. Tell me what's going on here. A ruined earth is slow to heal. And okay. people love to grow. But nature speaks... Maybe, but I'm too scared to, to try and play with the switches now. And toil with plow and hoe. I like to toil with hoe. Sometimes. The wise and holy 
No, I know about that. I know about that. Do you want a compass? No, wait, I tried that already. Uh, have we tried to give her everything? I think we have. Did we try to give her a crowbar? That's interesting. No, I still don't like that. What if I... No, that's... Why am I doing that? That's wrong. I shouldn't do that. Look, I'm watching your thing. What if I watch it when she's here? Do you think she'll... Can you I your autograph the CD? Guardian and sacred ward of the Temple of Ancient Machines. Did you say sacred lord? That's what I, I was wondering the first time as well. I four years old. There was an accident. Prior out of the, the seat, I know. put me in the machine. That's what I was thinking like. my life. Wait, is this? It no, is my this heartbeat, is not you. But I was thinking my like. My breath and my blood. There's a the magnet. Maybe you can I have been trained grab in the her seat and like story. pull her the remembrance somewhere else. The remembrance of things past. Sacred ward, Listen not sacred ward. Listen and learn our history. Okay, so she's here now. Now we've got her in this room. I reckon I can move the mag- What if I move the magnet? Let's see here, fucking in here. Uh, it's this thing, right? I think I should go all the way around, but it doesn't- Man. I can't remember what it was when we started either. Was it like- This is important. Like, what is it meant to attach to? Do you think we should bring her back in here? Oh, what if she gets shitty again, though? Okay, let's try. Let's try. I'm gonna save it though again, just in case, because we we did have a we did have a new um, speech option from her. So, I guess that's good. I want to get her with the magnet. I reckon the fucking magnet will get her. Because she's on a rail. And she, like, it will pull her over. So, it, I, I, that seems to be as far as that magnet goes, right? Let's go back to here for a second. Excuse me, please go forwards. Yes. So, that's as far as that goes. Yeah. I can't mess with any of this shit. No, that way. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, I mean, why not, like... Um, I wanna get her. I wanna get her with the magnet. Yeah, go on then. Go on. Let's go a little bit more over here towards this thing. Come on. It's, don't even worry about it. You, you know... The sun and wind. Yes, I know about that. Oh, I said I was gonna say. Thank you, Dr. Coyd. Thank you. Okay. Greta, please. Still not applicable. Return to game. Okay, Greta, what, what about... A ruined earth. I shouldn't... Okay, the... what if I try and touch... I... I use those... those controls to move about. I know, please I know you do. don't hinder m them oh this would be really wrong but what if like we could get the birds to attack her right okay that would be fun that would be a bad thing right that would be a terrible thing to do you wouldn't want me like you wouldn't really want that to happen i kind of want that to happen right at this stage Greta, what if you go around? Like, you don't go anywhere, you just... The wise and... Oh, yeah, I know. She didn't tell us anything about that. Intra um... Greta. Okay, what if they patrol? What, let's try. I don't know, I don't know. The sun. No, it doesn't say that. It 
is my duty to protect. Sorry. Protect I know. the temple against intruders. I'm sorry. You cannot enter the inner chambers. Yeah, I reckon you gotta get the magnet to pull her to grab her and then you can go into the inner sanctum and, and mess with the, her bedroom, whatever. Yeah. No, don't go away. Oh, Greta, no. Oh, come on now, Greta. I don't know why, I feel like this should be able to go all the way around. Like, this is so such small. Maybe we gotta gain her because we gave her an extra item, and she was stoked by that. No, I don't know. We gave her an extra item, and she liked it. It's, we tried every uh, other all the other items. We could give to her. Okay. Like, is there like a place where if you activate the birds, then you get to see them doing what they're doing? Like, if they're patrolling or if they're, you know, is there a. That would be. Why? Alright. I must go pee and then I will return. So I'm gonna. Alright. We'll be back in one sec. Okay, I return.
clock for? We can try giving her the clock, right? No, I don't want that. Oh, what's with the onion place? Go like like could we attach something to it that she wants? Did we try that with her? Did we try to like make play the dog whistle? Better come out. Okay, well maybe we should go to another room. Oh. And we tried that one. We'll try the hologram room, the AOL AOL demo room. Maybe now that she has seen the letter you can get her with a magnet. Yeah, but like how though is the thing because like she's seen the letter and you can't the only so you can move the, the magnet she never she all oh right she doesn't so the magnet we should push it all the way over there it's as far as the stupid magnet goes you know and it Or do you have to move it every time? Yeah, it's as far as the magnet goes. So now we've moved the magnet. Ah, she comes out if you move the magnet. So we know that it's fucking re related. Okay, listen, you little bitch. Go over there. Just go over there. Okay, what if I activate the magnet now? You know? Have we tried that? I don't think so. Sorry, I shouldn't have called it that, but it's rude. It's bad. Oh my god! Holy fuck, what the fuck? Oh shit! Uh, get him! No! Get, get him! Get the bird man! No, get the, get the bird man! Isn't that what it's meant to do? Okay, wait, I'm going to save this right now. Um, you save... Verb... Assault. Surely, if, if you grab him, grab him. Yes! He has changed. When Martin built him... Holy shit. Holy shit. He was Holy good. Shit. I will keep him here. So... So... He, he won't hurt... Anyone else? Maybe. Yeah, do that. Just dog on a leash. Time, I can repair him. Perhaps he can be a companion for me. Thank oh, yeah. you for You're saving You're me. I could not have stopped him, but by myself. Yeah, you guys can be friends now. Can I move them around? No. Yeah, can I throw rocks at him now? I hope I can throw rocks at him now. No, that would just be that would not be unfair, wouldn't it? That would be horrible. That's what you get. You see what you get? Yeah. Okay. So. I trust you now. You may ascend. Or oh, thank descend. You. Perhaps I think I want to ascend. Contains some of the Is answers the you you seek. All right, thank you. Uh, I was going to name it's weird. Lyral, thank you, Lyral. Um, okay, all right. Wait. Sorry. You should. No more. 
the airplane. I actually, thank you. I, I was gonna say something. Priests thought he can. He came from our past, or maybe from another world. He called it. Lives, it's lives our... in the ancient volcano. Not. I'm long sorry. What? Ago, the priests noticed black smoke in the sky. They believed it it was it was an eruption. But when they looked when they they looked they discovered Yeah a strange he lives in a volcano. Being. That sounds like Scientology, I'm sorry, but you know what I mean. Tattooed devil altering the volcano to suit some plan of his own. He has built a, a factory there in the tunnels b b beneath the mountain. Okay, so his dude lives in a volcano, and he's altered the volcano, and he made a factory and tunneled under the volcano. Is that is that what's going on? Is it all run of it? Is that a ruined earth? Is no, okay, okay, you said that to us. Wait. Wait. Okay, I'm sorry. What? You should no more. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell me. They kept him under close watch. They saw the effects. Of his work, smoke, dark, d dark, d dark, darkened the skies. Sludge and poisonous chemicals contaminated the sea. The dark being, as he came to be called, thus revealed his wick wicked nature. Okay, no, I mean, I just. Honestly, to be honest with you, Lyril, when I saw him <laughs> for the first time, I was like, that dude's fucking evil. Unlike Jeremiah Crick, who was like, it seems like he's curious. What a nice, interesting man. Yeah, maybe the Dark Being lives in the volcano. The Dark Being's Elrond Hubbard. That's... That's... <laughs> the twist is... The twist is the Dark Being. The Dark Being's Elrond Hubbard. And the Birdman is Tom Cruise. Look to the sky! This creature that sullies the waters. Why has he come with the ways of the past? I hate to say this a little literal, but your speech in heaven actually makes it quite tedious to listen to you. So, is there more? He has conquered the fortress, he has vanquished the people. A monster he put there to prevent their return. Right, okay. Wait, what did he just, what did she just say? What prevents their whose return? He's put oh, shit, I totally missed So he put something somewhere to prevent someone's return. Did anyone else get more of that? Wise to the old he put a monster ways, there. The priests, so night candles, uncovering. Oh no, you said that. You said that already. So he, if you put a monster there, so like maybe the monster is the dark being, or maybe the dark being put a monster there. A two kind of safe assumptions, I guess. Should I try and touch check control? I'm gonna save it and do it. You may ascend or descend. I'm gonna go with probably ascend first, and then if they have the option to descend, okay. Go away. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just, had, I just had to check. That. Anyway, I can ascend now, so it's all Wait. Fine. Oh God, you should... Greta, listen. No more. Just tell me everything at once. For fuck's sake. The priests. Knew something 
Give me a stock bean. Give me a whole can of this chocolate dead people. Come back to life. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Co co corrupted the land from the safety of his stronghold. Right? He just dip it once and rotted. end it. He drove the people away from their homes and released a m monster to guard should they try to re re return. The priest poured through the ancient texts oh, you're right. uncovering That's why you're long so buried secrets of the old She got the bird man now, so that's good. Yeah, she's like the, the old lady who talks to you at the on the bus and you just don't even mind. Yeah, no, I know. And if, but if I click on her, then she just tells me what she like she gives a scripted thing. The wise Like that wise thing. But if I gotta leave Wait Yeah. You should no more. Okay. You know we could exchange numbers and then like we could Skype or wait, Skype's dead, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I got the AOL demo CD. We can we can chat on on AOL. And we can be friends. So tell me more then. Tell me. This knowledge, they created a device to contain him. As they finished each part, part, part of the device, she's, they sent her hardware it away. Is Really here. Keeping when they completed completed the six. She, she's stammering way more. I'm a bit worried about her. They set off in the ironclad ship to collect the other five and assemble as, as, assem, assemble them. Oh no. That was the last the last the last I saw of them. Okay, so that's the shipwreck letter. She's talking. So they. Okay, so we got some more information about that situation. I feel like she's. We're putting on. Uh, we're, we're putting her under a lot of stress, and it's exacerbating the breakdown of her hardware, software, whatever the fuck is it, this is. Um, if I click on her, I bet you she'll give me a. We have heard about the six pieces in the ironclad. Yeah. So I wrote this down before. So the six pieces. Five are hidden, and one is not. I... Uh, maybe, like, for example, this thing is one of the f pieces. She's... Because she reacts to it, it's right? part... Sorry. It's part of the device. Yeah. So, that's... They... Called... Yeah, I think one's this thing. And the ironclad, to me, that sounds like the Birdman. Um, and she's going to be friends with him now. So, the six pieces and the ironclad. This might be a piece, because this was around the neck of the inventor who made the Birdman. It's possible, I don't know. So, like... Oh, no, ironclad was the ship. Thank you, Dr. Freud. Okay. So, the six, the six pieces and the ironclad. They set sail in the ironclad, thank you. Okay. Okay, well, we have to go to the wrecking site of the ironclad, which is why we have the submarine. So that's why we couldn't get anywhere in the submarine, because it's a reference to a Civil War era ship at the same time. Is it? Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Because it is, so, what I was thinking before is that she was talking about someone from the past or the future being like this person who was significant in their history and, and appearing and stuff. So like, this is the same Earth that we live on at a different time. <clears throat> so like, that would actually be, that's actually quite a clever thing then for the writers, that they chose a real, they chose something that was connected to our world to call the ship. So I quite like that, I think that's quite clever. Okay, so, okay, 
so now of like clearly before we we weren't supposed to go in a sub the submarine yet but now we are so now we can at least try that okay we can try that if, if i try and leave she's going to talk to me again isn't she? no no maybe you that's ruined it. earth so i know about that look to the sky yeah i know okay so now i can either ascend or descend when i feel like the most appealing choice first off is to ascend like i would choose ascend what do you guys think like that room oh i'm sorry no i private. thought i was allowed now i thought i was allowed I th 